Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. Over the weekend, I was working at the back of our house. I was building a patio, working with some large concrete blocks, and I made a very foolish mistake. Instead of putting work boots on, I, could, I wasn't quite sure where my work boots were. I was running a little bit late. I, I just put a pair of training shoes on and went out and started work. And after a couple of hours, I was lifting a concrete block and it slipped out of my hands and fell onto my toe. Now, uh, I was working beside a window and there were some visitors to our house who were in behind the window and I knew I could be seen. And even though it hurt, I didn't want to start hopping about and shouting in front of these visitors. So I, I carried on as if nothing had happened. And it wasn't until later in the day when I got inside and I took my shoe and my sock off and realized what a mess I had made of my big toe. I mean, the nail was smashed into bits. The, the, it, nothing was broken, thank God, but the, the flesh was all mushed up and everything else. It was a real mess. And, uh, last, you know, last night it was just throbbing away when I was trying to get to sleep. But here's the thing that really struck me. If I had known I was on my own, if I hadn't thought that somebody else might have been watching me, I've no doubt I would have shouted out in pain. I've no doubt I would have been hopping up and down and holding my foot. I've no doubt that I would have taken my shoe and my sock off straight away to inspect the damage. But I didn't do any of these things because I was affected by what other people might think of me. Do you know, what other people think about us is a very powerful thing. Now, th th that, that can actually be very detrimental, because particularly when it comes to worship, because worship is about expressing our love and our heart to God. And all this week in our Take Fives, as we lead up to uh, next Sunday, which is the National Praise Day, 31st of October, I'm going to be sharing about praise and worship. And, you know, the fear of what other people might think of us and the desire not to have others think badly of us can actually be a very inhibiting factor that would stop us worshipping God in spirit and in truth. I remember years ago, and I'm pastor of a Pentecostal church now, obviously, but I remember years ago when I was first saved and uh, I, I, was, uh, I was in a non-Pentecostal denomination. And I remember somebody saying to me how they had uh, visited a Pentecostal church and how free it was because they felt able to lift up their hands and they couldn't do that in the uh, services in the church to which they belonged and which they normally attended. And I have to say, my response was this, that if you can't raise your hands to worship God in the service of your own church, the problem is not a lack of freedom in the service. The problem is a lack of freedom in yourself, that you are too inhibited by what other people might think of you than to do anything as natural as raising your hands in the air in praise and adoration. You know, when you go to a sporting event and something happens, it's great. You raise your hands in the air when when you're at a concert and, and uh, something great. You know, there's a great song. You might raise your hands in the air. It's, it's not a Pentecostal thing. It's a human, natural human response to something great to lift up our hands. And yet, if we don't feel free to do that, it's not the fault of the meeting, a lack of freedom in the meeting. It's a, it's a lack of freedom in us. And it shows how much, again, we are inhibited by what we think other people might think and say if they see us reacting naturally. You know, I might have been foolish in hiding my pain when I dropped that concrete block on my foot. I was certainly foolish to wear the wrong footwear. But I don't want to be so foolish as to allow the fear of what other people might think of me to hold me back from worshipping God with all of my heart. God is looking for those who will worship him in spirit and in truth. Let's worship him in such a way, whether we're corporately with others or whether we're worshiping in the privacy of our own homes. May God bless you today. I join us again tomorrow for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda.